In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NaOH plus CO2, sodium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide. First thing with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. So our molecular equation, you can see right away I have two sodiums here. If I put a two here, it gives me two sodiums. Carbons are balanced. I have two plus two, four oxygens, three plus one, four oxygens, two hydrogens, and two hydrogens. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, I need to write the states for each substance. We'll assume that this sodium hydroxide is in water, and since it's a strong base, it'll dissociate into its ions, break apart completely. Carbon dioxide, that's a gas, so I'm guessing it'll be bubbled through the sodium hydroxide. On the product side, sodium compounds are very soluble. That'll be aqueous. Water's a liquid. So we have our states. Next, we're going to split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll be the complete ionic equation. So for sodium hydroxide, sodium group one has a positive charge, and then this whole hydroxide group is one minus. So we have two sodium ions, a plus, and I'll write aqueous at the end, plus two hydroxide ions. For the carbon dioxide, we don't split gases apart in net ionic equations, just CO2. Those are the reactants. The products, we said sodium has a one plus charge, and the whole carbonate, two minus. Good one to remember. So we have two sodium ions plus we have the carbonate ion and then with net ionic equations we don't split liquids apart either so we just have H2O. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. I can see in the reactants I have two sodium ions products two sodium ions. Cross them out. It looks like everything else is unique. So this here is the net ionic equation for NaOH plus CO2. I'll clean it up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide. You'll notice that the charge is conserved. We have two negative charges here. We have two negative charges here. And if you look at the atoms, we have the same number of each type of atom on both sides. So mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.